to sell his unsigned mixtapes out of the trunk of his car. Now, you actually own half of this lot. Yeah, me and my, my family, um, Black Sam, Adam, uh, my pops, you know, the whole team. He also owns Marathon Clothing Store, which not only sells his label, but lets his visitors use an app to enhance their shopping experience. We playing a long game. We don't want the money to stop when we go. And we can't work no more. We wanted to outlive us. We wanted to be generational. And next door, a basic need shop. They sell everything from prepaid cell phones to fragrances. And at both stores, Nipsey hired local artists. It's Tani. Hi, one Tani. Of our, I'm Leah. Uh, partners and up and coming artists. Okay. By the end of this year, Nipsey will also open a barber yeah. shop. And so we're going we gonna to call this um, Steve's. And it's named after my homeboy, Fats. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a tattoo of him right here. He, yeah, he was murdered last year. And a Creole seafood restaurant. And everything. All the um, equipment was brand new. All of these businesses are family owned and operated. Nipsey says businesses are only part of the change. For true change, he's starting with kids at 54th Street Elementary, an area plagued by violence. Yeah, I think it's just about offering a new identity, you know? Like it is, it is, um, it's not weak to be strong. It ain't weak to be, to make smart moves. He hired a local artist to help spruce up this basketball court. And I see in the inside, it's got safety, respect, yeah. friendship, yeah. kindness, yeah. community, yeah. principles. Principles, yeah, to live by. You're the first nigga that really showed me that shit, and that shit killed me, you know what I'm saying? I'm working on my album. I got this nigga on the album. I'm writing the video out. It, it's, it's nasty, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and it was a, to, to, to come to find out it was a fucking rat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't none of that, none of that, it wasn't none of that Dr. Sebi shit that everybody thinking it is. It was none of that conspiracy shit. It was a nigga from 6 0 from his set. You know what I'm saying? That probably been hating that nigga forever. You smell me? Like, it, it got his opportunity. Nip chilling in his own parking lot, he own that shit. He ain't thinking, he, he relax. He, I'm saying, everybody like, why ain't he had security? That's his shit. Right. Nobody move, nigga gonna pull up comfortable. Right. A sucker took out a fucking king, my nigga. Back. 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 A real king to this ever. I was a kid when Big and Pop died, so I couldn't feel that. Back. I feel this shit. Back. 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 I feel this shit. Chinks and stacks. Like, it's a fact. They love niggas, do this, do that, and the nigga get clipped broad daylight. Smell me? Same shit with stack. Niggas got a Same shit. Same shit. Same shit. Niggas got to really get on some. I'm not no revolutionary nigga. I'm not a preacher. I don't even do this. I'm used to fucking shows. Like, I don't do this shit. That's my brother, man. You smell me? If nobody else in New York City was gonna do this, I was gonna do this shit. City watch, yeah. City talk, yeah. Shorty pop the perk and I'm gonna get the fuck in. Girl, what you call? What you call? What you call? It been a long time. Got the city on my back, nigga, would you call this?